on this example, we're going to talk about our strategies. Can we substitute in? Can we eliminate an algebra problem? Should we plug in numbers that are really close? Or can we analyze? Right? Those were our strategies. So with this one, with the infinite plugins, um, they're analyzing. Okay, so think about if x was to keep going on forever, what would happen to this graph? Okay, so I'm thinking about math. What's happening with the numbers here? 7 to an exponent, 9 to an exponent, that exponent just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So what's happening with the number? Maybe you're thinking about these types of things. Yeah. Remember all those rules with the rationals? Okay. That's the same thing we think in mind. So what's happening with the numbers? Think about the pace. 7 to an exponent, 9 to an exponent. Are they doing the same thing? Is one doing something more than the other? This one's getting bigger, right? Okay, so what's happening to our height? If the bottom fraction is getting bigger, the number itself will get closer and closer to zero. Okay, so this one is a negative symbol. What do you do with negative exponents? So, just taking you back, what does 3 to a negative 2 mean? Mm -hmm. 1 ninth, is that you said? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, because why? Because you're really doing 3 squared on the bottom now, right? You're moving it. Negative exponents mean move. Right? Remember that with negative exponents? Okay, so then, really, this would move and this would move. And then it would look like that. So now, what's going on? Is something doing the same rate, bigger rate, top, bigger rate, bottom? This is getting bigger. So what happens if your top gets bigger, bigger, bigger? What happens to your number? It will just get bigger. What does this mean? Okay, so this means as x heads towards 0, but this means just from the positive side. Okay, I'm just going to show you a super quick snapshot of something. Okay, so this is a graph that has an asymptote at 2, okay? So if I ever said, what's the limit of this function as x approaches 2 from the positive side? Okay, so what's happening to the graph as I'm heading towards 2 from the positive side? So where are you traveling? You're traveling this way. As you are going towards 2 from its positive side, what's happening to the graph? It's going to be doing that, right? What if I asked this question? What's the limit of this function when you're approaching 2 from its negative 
direction. So now this is different because I'm heading towards 2 from this side of things. So what's happening to the graph as I'm going towards 2 this way? It's going towards negative infinity. This says what happens to the graph, the function, when I go towards 2. So this means I have to head at it from both sides. So what's the conclusion when you come at it from both sides? You're not doing something similar, right? So then there would be, this answer would be no limit. Do you understand the three different varieties of questions I just asked there? This was just specifically from the one side of it, the other side of it, but this takes into account both sides of it. Okay? Does that give you a good snapshot of what these mean? Okay, so then that's where you see this. You're approaching zero, but from a positive side. Okay, so Okay, let's just look at this. What happens to 1 over a 0 number? What happens to 1 over a small number? So if the bottom is getting smaller, smaller, smaller towards 0, what's happening to this fraction? It's going to get bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, so the bottom of this had a 0, close to 0, obviously you can't be on 0. So if the bottom is getting close to zero, your number is getting bigger, right? Okay, same with this. So this I'm going to replace with infinity. Now, look at the paces. Is there the same thing going on? Is there bigger somewhere? I would say this would be getting bigger, right? Because it's a 9 to an exponent and 7 to an exponent. So now, if this gets bigger there, your answer will be 0. Okay, so same kind of thing here. So I have to think about and analyze this. One over a small number. So if the bottom of this is small, this thing will actually be big. And same with that. Now, when I look at this, I analyze again what's going on with the pace of them. I would say this is the same pace now, right? Does that make sense to you? So think about this, 7 billion and 5 divided by 7 billion and 10. What do you think you would get as a number on your calculator? Very close to 1. Right? This is irrelevant in the scheme of things, right? Because this number is going to be so big that you basically don't even think about that, right? 
Okay, that was good. These are a little bit tricky. Okay, so this one I'm gonna plug the zero negative in. Okay, so now thinking about this, the bottom of the fraction is getting closer to zero. So if the bottom gets closer to zero, your number gets bigger, right? But this time when I get bigger, I'm not gonna go to infinity, I'm gonna go to negative, negative infinity. Does that make sense? Okay, now, negative infinity, so what I'm going to do with a negative exponent is I'm going to flip it like that. Okay, why can't I change their positions in the fraction like I did on that other example? because they're attached to an adder. I can't just change one thing like that, right? So I'm gonna just reciprocate it right there. Okay, now what is happening just to this number? One over seven to infinity, what would happen to that number? It just would zero out basically, yeah. What about this number right here? One over three to infinity? It would do the same, it would just zero out So then my final answer would be four-fifths. Because it'd be like having 4.0000001 divided by 5.0001, whatever, right? That's going to be four-fifths. Okay, so then just this is a visual graph. So when you're on this function, what's your height as you move to the x value of one? So here's the x value of one. So if I'm traveling on the path, what's the height of the graph at one? When we're two, right? What's the height of this graph as you travel along heading towards an x value of 2? So if I come towards 2, coming towards 2, looks like my height is about 2.75 or something like that. As you travel towards 4, so as I move towards four, my graph over here goes infinite. And if I move towards four, this one also goes infinite. So I can conclude that the graph will be heading towards infinity as I go to four. As you head towards negative two, so here's the negative 2. So if I go here, when I head there, I'm going to infinity. But on this side, when I'm heading towards it, I'm going to negative infinity. So what should I write as an answer? There's no limit on that one. You didn't do the same thing heading to it. So this next question says 0 from the positive side. So I need to travel this path on the positive side. So as I'm moving towards zero, zero, I'm getting towards a height of one. This question says from the negative side, 
So now I need to head along that path. So as I'm moving closer and closer to zero, I get to a height of three from that side. Then the last question says you have to consider both directions. So as you went to zero this way and this way, well, one side went to one and one side went to three. So now there would be no limit when you consider both sides of it. Okay, so do you understand coming at it from a positive way or a negative way? Okay, I need to write a little bit of a conclusion statement so that you can have your ducks in a row here. Okay, there's four things you have. I don't know if you want to write these down in summer. This is just... Oh, I already gave it to you. Okay, so this is the like big summary of always thinking about what's happening. Okay. So, um, one over a big number. So when you have one over a big number, you're gonna go small. So you're gonna head towards zero. You happen to head towards zero from above it, because you're on, coming from a positive, but you're heading towards zero. One over negative infinity, so a big number on the bottom, means I go towards zero. You happen to be coming at it from the negative side of zero. Does that make sense? But does it matter if you're going towards zero from the top or the bottom? No, because you're just heading towards zero. Okay, when your bottom gets smaller, you get bigger. When your bottom gets smaller, you get bigger, but negative. Okay, does that kind of make sense? Right, it's a reciprocal, so you're alternating what's happening, right? Bigger bottom, smaller number. Smaller bottom, bigger number. Okay? And then you also got the thing down pat where you have a number to a negative exponent. Okay, just kind of remembering to flip it, to reciprocate it.